Well, despite the intervention, the future of education remains in limbo as a result of ongoing challenges linked to COVID-19. Lloyd Allen tells us just how education officials are addressing things. President of the Bahamas Union of Teachers, Belinda Wilson, says as COVID-19 has hit the country and the world with an unprecedented pandemic in recent times, education remains an important component in the national discussion. She adds, while the virtual school was rolled out some time ago by the Ministry of Education, there remain significant outliers to the educational tool. It's about one-third, about 20,000 of them have registered for virtual, the virtual school or for virtual learning. So that is um, definitely a concern that the virtual platform that is presently um, installed through the Ministry of Education is not reaching all of all of the students. With around 25,000 additional students in the private sector, Wilson adds that the current enrollment includes numbers from private schools as well, which leaves the majority of students outside of the reach of that virtual initiative. Minister of Education, the Honorable Jeffrey Lloyd, addressing this in the House of Assembly on Monday. I am pleased to announce to this Honorable House and to the Bahamian people that beginning Next Wednesday, April the 15th, Cable Bahamas will dedicate two channels, channel 296 and 297, for the live broadcasting of educational content by the Ministry of Education. Wilson adds an emergency calendar would prove effective during COVID-19 or future storms to the region as hurricanes, as they occur, pose various challenges. Additionally, she says parents are important in guiding students through the existing plan as this will be the last line of defense for a quality education. She says dialogue continues with union and education officials regarding this year's national exams, which are without question affected by COVID-19. I would have given a recommendation um, to the minister and the permanent secretary um, last week about them giving serious consideration to canceling April, May and June examinations. Director of Education Marcellus Taylor says while many questions remain on the future of education, the priority is for the wellness and care of all in the country. When you have too many X or unknown variables, right, it then compromises the planning process. We are very, very, very reluctant to cancel the remainder of the school year. That's, that's something that we wouldn't want to do. We are also very reluctant and wanting to cancel national exams when the time unfolds and we either have a clear understanding of how long this is going to prevail or that so much time has gone already that we have to do something different, then we would make it known. Lloyd Allen, ZNS Network News.